An internal combustion engine is a heat engine in which the combustion of a fuel occurs with an oxidizer, usually air, in a combustion chamber that is an integral part of the working fluid flow circuit. In an internal combustion engine, the expansion of the high temperature and high pressure gases produced by combustion applies direct force to some component of the engine. The force is applied typically to pistons, turbine blades, rotor or a nozzle. This force moves the component over a distance, transforming chemical energy into useful mechanical energy. Internal combustion engines are the most broadly applied and widely used power generating devices currently in existence. Examples include gasoline engines, diesel engines, gas turbine engines, and rocket propulsion systems. Internal combustion engines can be described in terms of a series of thermodynamic events. In the continuous combustion engine, the thermodynamic events occur simultaneously as the oxidizer and fuel and the products of combustion flow steadily through the engine. In the intermittent combustion engine, by contrast, the events occur in succession and are repeated for each full cycle. Components of an internal combustion engine Number 1. Exhaust camshaft Number 2. Exhaust valve bucket Number 3. Spark plug Number 4. Intake valve bucket Number 5. Intake camshaft Number 6. Exhaust valve Number 7. Intake valve Number 8. Cylinder head Number 9. Piston Number 10. Piston pin Number 11. Connecting rod Number 12. Engine block. Number 13. Crankshaft. While TDC stands for top dead center. And BDC, bottom dead center. There are two kinds of internal combustion engines currently in production, the spark ignition gasoline engine and the compression ignition diesel engine. Most of these are four-stroke cycle engines, meaning four piston strokes are needed to complete the cycle. The cycle includes four distinct processes, intake, compression, combustion and power stroke, and exhaust. Spark ignition gasoline and compression ignition diesel engines differ in how they supply and ignite the fuel. In a spark ignition engine, the fuel is mixed with air and then inducted into the cylinder during the intake process. After the piston compresses the fuel-air mixture, the spark ignites it, causing combustion. The expansion of the combustion gases pushes the piston during the power stroke. In a diesel engine, only air is inducted into the engine and then compressed. Diesel engines then spray the fuel into the hot compressed air at a suitable, measured rate, causing it to ignite. An internal combustion engine consists of four strokes. Number 1. Intake number 2. Compression number 3. Power stroke. Number 4. Exhaust. At the beginning of the intake stroke the piston is close to TDC the intake valve is opened, the piston starts to move towards the BDC air, or air fuel mixture, is drawn into the cylinder. This stroke is called intake because fresh air mixture is taken into the engine. The intake stroke ends when the piston is at the BDC during the intake stroke. The engine consumes energy, the crankshaft is rotating due to the inertia of the components. Stroke 2, Compression The compression stroke starts with the piston at BDC, after the intake stroke is finished. During the compression stroke both valves, intake and exhaust, are closed, and the piston moves towards TDC with both valves closed. The air mixture is compressed reaching maximum pressure when the piston is close to TDC before the piston reaches the TDC but very close to it, during the compression stroke, for gasoline engine, the spark is generated for diesel engines, fuel is injected during the compression stroke, the engine consumes energy, the crankshaft is rotating due to the inertia of the components, more than the intake stroke. Stroke 3, Power Stroke the power stroke starts with the piston at TDC both valves, intake and exhaust, are still closed. The air-fuel mixture combustion started at the end of the compression stroke, which causes a significant increase of pressure inside the cylinder. 
The pressure inside the cylinder pushes the piston down, towards the BDC only during the power stroke the engine produces energy. Stroke 4, Exhaust Stroke. The exhaust stroke starts with the piston at the BDC, after the power stroke finished. During this stroke, the exhaust valve is open. The movement of the piston from the BDC towards the TDC pushes most of the exhaust gases out of the cylinder, into the exhaust pipes. During the exhaust stroke, the engine consumes energy, the crankshaft is rotating due to the inertia of the components. As you can see, in order to have a complete combustion engine cycle the piston has to perform four strokes. This means that one engine cycles takes two complete rotations of the crankshaft, 720 degrees. The only stroke which produces torque, energy, is the power stroke, all the others are consuming energy.